Aviation, as they say, is a barometer to check the economy of any country. One of the ways to check the economy of any nation is to know its GDP. And one of the ways of knowing is to check the passenger traffic. Here in Nigeria, a recent report from the National Bureau of Statistics shows that the aviation sector recorded a decline in activity between the first and second quarters of the year. With government already taking some positive steps, airline operators say the worst is not over, as Nigerian aviation is still dollar-denominated. On this edition, the domestic aviation industry is our focus. Welcome to Aviation This Week on Channels Television. I'm Bukola Joe Oketumbi, and our show takes off right now. This is the recent picture aboard an international flight inbound Lagos. A picture of low patronage from Nigerians. From October 22nd, Emirates Airlines suspended its Abuja Dubai operations due to what it describes as irregularities in foreign currency repatriation policy. The carrier had earlier in July cut its two flight frequencies into Lagos to one. Earlier in the year, American carrier United Airlines and Spanish carrier Iberia Airlines bid Nigeria goodbye. Before now, the International Air Transport Association said the total airline funds blocked from repatriation in the country was nearly $600 million. A situation Eric Air says it's facing in Angola. We have money in Angola now. We can't get it out since we're buying. We've been looking for how to get our money. We have approached Angola government. We have made this. We have money all over the whole place too, West, West Africa. We can't get them out. If Medview and us are not been going international, this recession period, some of these foreign airlines, all of them want to see that, compare and shut down. And so they must get all their money. And now it's like almost about maybe 800 or 1,000 to the dollar. The government will have been forced. But they know that Nigerians have alternatives. And that has prevented them from shutting down. In spite of that, they use other methods of going to say, oh, you are owing this over five, you are doing this. Something they've not said for 10, 5, 8 years. They just said going up and down. But they know that we have a plan. We are not short of the outside world. On the local front, the National Bureau of Statistics in a recent report stated that in the first quarter of this year, the number of passengers who travelled through Nigerian airports was over 3.5 million, representing a 6.9% decline relative to the fourth quarter of 2015. The report also noted that in both quarters of the year, domestic travel recorded smaller growth rates than international travel compared to the previous quarters as well as corresponding quarters of the previous year. While passengers' numbers have declined, most operators say the cost of aviation fuel has been a recurrent factor as the price persists at over 200 naira. Accra is selling fuel between 110 and 120. Accra is also importing fuel as Nigeria is operating Jet A1 fuel. There's really no reason why the government should not step in aggressively today 
to correct that. Whether it's a cartel or it's double taxation or whatever the issue is or excessive taxes, we must look at it and address it because we are losing revenue. We're killing our industry. Another issue is the cost of maintenance, as most operators have to do the C and D checks in facilities outside the country.